Hi there, um, just uh, doing a quick sort of uh, slide session. Sorry, I'm a bit late starting there. I forgot to share the post with some groups. Um, so I'm going to be just improvising around today, um, around a kind of backing track that I'm working on for some lessons. Um, do check me out on Patreon and um, other platforms, uh, GT Dobro Lessons Online. Um, yeah, so without further ado, let's uh, just start improvising. I haven't really played over this much, I sort of just mixed it. Uh, it's a one four five, as the session says. Um, yeah, let's um, cut to the chase, get that title off. I uh, hope you enjoy. Let me know if, there's, uh, if you've got any uh, Dobro related questions or anything like that. Um, you drop a line. Okay, here we go. Let me know if it's not loud enough or if there's a balance issue.
just kind of playing through it, trying to come up with some ideas. They were quite derivative, those ones, but let's see how we carry on. I'll go through it a couple more times. I've got a bit of a cut off here for another 10 minutes. Um, and it's quiet time here in Germany. Uh, about to start, so I've got, yeah, a little bit of time to run through this before I have to start thinking about being quiet. I uh, hope you're all appreciating this overhead camera angle. Uh, oh, the overhead camera angle. Um, yeah, I'm loving that. Um, are we still in sync? Pretty much. I think there's a frame or two out there. I'll just answer some of your questions there as we go up a go. Uh, Cheryl, I'll just pop the camera back on me. Uh, hi there. Um, cut. Um, so Cheryl, thank you from Warner Robbins, GA uh, USA. Thanks for tuning in. Um, Cheryl, uh, it's a quick last minute impromptu thing. Um, John Brandenburg, will you provide the tabs for these patterns? I can see these are great for backup. Uh, yeah, they're, they're largely, you know, the, the type of playing that I'm doing is improvising largely around form. Um, so you've got some chord form with some rolls. Um, then there's some uh, patterns, you know, like scale and pentatonic patterns. Moving between on a pattern like this, a one, four, five like this, where you haven't really got many sevenths defined in the track. Okay, they're pretty plain chords, and I left them that. You can move between when you're playing a uh, diatonic shape, um, so the, the one, four, and five. The one and the four would be major sevenths, the five dominant. You can move between doing that and then occasionally playing a dominant on the one or the four. 
giving it that sort of slightly more bluesy characteristic and a variety of sort of patterns that you can play on that. So certainly in my, in my sort of lesson materials, and you can check out on, on Patreon and some of the free materials that I've got because there's a lot of free materials just now that, I, that I've certainly got on my, uh, on my page um, with backing tracks. So there will be um, stuff for this, but um, what I'm going to be doing is sessions like this that are introductions to you know, the, the, the backing track that I've got and the ideas that I'll be playing over them. And then when I've got a lesson plan for it, I'll do uh, you know a, a short 15-minute kind of um, session of on some of the introduction materials, and then the full lesson plan will be available um, uh, on Patreon. Um, but yeah, so that that's my plan for for going forward with the materials. But there is quite a lot of stuff available, uh, and if you're interested in the type of patterns that I'm playing, to be honest, a lot of it is covered in the 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 the, the kind of genesis, if you like, the 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 the, the ways I'm thinking about applying patterns on them are laid out in the uh, in some of the materials that are there already primary scale just knowing your scale patterns arpeggios and uh, knowing your sevenths and some various pentatonic patterns and then the the kind of uh, in g obviously like this or any other key where you've got some open strings knowing what kind of rules you can put in so there's a lot of this type of playing so if you check out my um uh, finger rules uh, lesson that I did the other day. Uh, it goes through quite a lot of criteria in that. Um, as I said, I'm on a bit of a curfew here, and that there's I'm in Germany, and there's a sleeping afternoon. It's quite quite like it, you know. There's plenty. There's allocated time for dozing in the afternoon. And bizarrely, Germany is the largest country in Europe for dozing. I would have thought it would be um, Spain for siesta time, but so between uh, one p.m. this uh, uh, Central European time and uh, three I'm going to be quiet and this dobro is quite loud for the neighbours so I've got about five minutes to carry on um, so I'll do a little bit of playing out uh, I came up with one or two ideas that I thought beyond the sort of generic patterns that I might sort of play over something like this that might be a, a window into something slightly more interesting so I've, one of the characteristics of, of the track there is this sort of uh, kind of northern soul decided sound I'll just let it play and talk over the top of it I'll turn it down for a second when that bass hits on beat one there's a kind of elevated feeling to it because the, although the chords are all relatively standard pressures the bass is going up to the fifth and um, so I'm going to try and work on a melody that's there uh, I really like the one four five well it goes back down to the four so it's a nice simple orientation for people to work with because it's four chords. There's a tempo feature to it, so it's 120, um, which adds, depending on what you're doing, some issues there. But there, at the beginning, that's a fifth on the bass, and I'm interested in having that as a sort of pedal. So I might work on some, uh, some pedaling ideas. Come back to this shot so you can see the dobro again. Get the dobro back in shot. Where was it? Was it all the way over here? Oh, the camera must have slipped. Oh, there we go. We're back. Pedaling uh, the D in it. I think I'll work on some of the materials for that, um, and then some patterns up at the twelfth rear where you're more moving, playing over the a dominant super uh, imposition over things, particularly over that C where you can move between a major seventh sound and a dominant sound. So I'll just give a quick example of some of those. Here's the C. I'm going to play dominant major C. So here's one. Here's four, major seventh. Chord five is dominant. And there's a dominant four. So 
so I'll do some sort of materials based around playing around that idea, which is useful in, in a lot of blues criteria as well. It's getting used to knowing when you can, the type of environment where you can go between uh, a major seventh and then swap to a dominant when you're, if the chord is like a six chord or there isn't a, an obvious seventh placed in the chord. You've got more room to, to do that kind of material. So if you've got a, a, a riff that's doing root and, root and fifth on the bass of something, that's a fifth and a sixth pedaling. You've got a lot of room to decide whether or not to play flat and sevenths or major sevenths that give it a, a different criteria. And you know, there's, you, um, it's not just that one note, but it's how you frame it, whether it's through arpeggio, through a different pentatonic. Um, so there's a variety of, of, of materials that are that, that, um, through playing through there that give me a, a start off to it. But I've got a kind of backlog of three backing tracks that I've produced. In amongst this uh, this virus, I've just been sitting here doing the things I've been delaying doing for years, which is just knocking out lots of backing tracks and trying to produce lesson plans. And it seems like an appropriate time to boost my online um, teaching and, uh, and stuff. I'm usually just uh, happy to to go out playing and have the few students that I've got, but I decided to make some resources and to see if I can grow the uh, online tuition um, side of things. Uh, but keep keep questions uh, coming. Uh, and if there's a specific things that you're interested in, do drop me a line, um, and I can direct you maybe to one of the lesson pl the free lesson plans that are available um, on the site. But yeah, I'm going to leave it for there because we're just bang on noon just now, and that gives me a kind of uh, curfew for a couple of hours for for noises um, but thanks uh, for those of you that have, have joined in uh, it's great to have uh, people um, there know that uh, connecting with some some people that are interested in this wonderful instrument anyway I shall I'll leave it there till next time goodbye